Okay. Let's see. Now, again, just like our character, we're going to have to update the animation frames as well. So, um, let's say update animation frame. And here we'll say if the x offset is not equal to zero, essentially meaning that um, the character is moving, then go ahead and advance the animation frame. So say any frame equals math dot floor that rounds down and we want to capture the absolute value of the of um, our offset divided by the size of the tile so uh, what I'm going to do is math.floor math dot absolute that regards a negative and a positive number as the same value so a negative 32 is the same as 32 Set x. <clears throat> Divided by the tile size. That's actually the source tile size, by the way. Times three. Because our each of our um, each of our character. Uh, I'm sorry. Each of our uh, NPC sprite sets have um, three frames here. Else if our offset y is greater than zero or greater than, I'm sorry, less than or greater than zero, meaning that the NPC is moving on the y-axis, then we want to anim animate in that direction. So then any frame, again, equals math.floor. I'm going to copy and paste that and change this to the y. So if it's moving left to right, and this is if it's moving uh, up or down on the map. So it'll tell it to grab the right animation frame. Else, any frame equals zero. So if he's holding still, then he won't animate. Okay. Wow. So that is it for our NPC movement. Again, I may end up having to come and adjust these, but we'll just see, won't we? <laughs> Next sub, the update routine. Each game cycle, we need to update um, our NPCs. So uh, this is uh, where you know any other behavioral traits and stuff are going to be updated as well. Uh, I'm not going to get into anything like pathfinding or you know things like that. So we're just going to kind of let them wander around randomly on the map. So I'm going to say public sub update. And again, I'm going to be updating this uh, with values from our world screen. So I want to pass in that uh, world screen class again. So I'm going to say as world screen. That, that'll allow me to reference back to that uh, class. 
and check like the map properties and things like that. So timer move plus equals our globals dot game time. We're going to create a timer here out of this. So I'm going to say elapsed game time total milliseconds. So we're going to increment this timer movement um, by the total milliseconds. So every 25 milliseconds is what I'm going to check here on the movement. I'm going to say if TMR move is greater than 25, so if 25 seconds, uh, milliseconds have elapsed and um, the NPC is moving, then we are going to update the uh, NPC's position in the world and also we're going to block the tile that they're standing on so you can't walk through them. Now there is a little problem you know with the method that we're using here since we're not actually generating our NPCs with the map um, with the actual loaded map uh, they will not immediately start with a blocked value where they're standing so you'll actually be able to walk through them. Uh, as soon as they start moving, as soon as this uh, um, update routine starts firing, then it will block their uh, position where they're standing and you won't be able to walk through them anymore. So I'm going to say screen dot map dot tile list at the X Y value. Remember X Y in this case is where um, where our NPC is standing. It's the NPC coordinates on the map. And we're going to set the is blocked where they were standing to false when they move. And then we are going to move the NPC in the desired direction. Again, we uh, reference our um, screen here. So we're going to say screen. And the last direction of movement. And then, finally, once that move NPC cycle has completed, we want to block the tile uh, that they're the new tile that they're standing on. So we set this to true. So after 25 milliseconds, um, if they're moving, we unblock where they were, move the um, NPC, and then block their new tile. Then we say if offset x equals 0 and oops, offset y equals 0, which means that they are no longer, that their, their move cycle is completed, then is moving equals false. So as soon as, uh, as soon as they reach their destination, uh, if you recall up here, uh, we set their offset to zero. So if both of these are set to zero, meaning he's moving neither left nor right, uh, then he has com successfully completed his movement cycle. And because of that, this is no longer true. And so this will stop firing. So then we can set our timer move equals zero and then it will begin uh, re-incrementing until it gets to 25 milliseconds and then it will check again to see if it's uh, ready for another movement. Okay. Let's see here. 
now we need to process other updates. So uh, that's the, we've updated the movement cycle. Now we need to set a behavior cycle. Uh, in, in this case, the behavior is simply going to be uh, random movement around the map. So this is gonna be fairly simple in this tutorial.